Hey guys, Jokester here, bringing you another episode of FTP Presents Direwolf 20. We are up to episode 18 already, and I'm hanging out back here with our oil generators from Actual Editions, and I wanted to show you where we ended up. So last episode I had mentioned, quite briefly, um, that I had... I had I am now powering these canola presses off of our uh, our uh, renewable sources, you know, the windmill and the water mill. And so now I want to show you where I ended up here. It's been about 24 hours, 2560 or aka 40 stacks of canola that is now filling up. That main difference between not really having enough to keep all this filled up to having excess surplus is is insane right so that's the huge difference um that's something you should know something you should be aware of that do try not to power your presses off of the same generators you are feeding because it ends up in a vicious loop so that's really good now let me show you the other thing we did don't ignore that over there that's we're not ready for that yet come on now quit peeking all right, um, so I've added, remember I said I'm going to need two furnaces? Yeah, well, very simple solution here is that all I have to do is just um, make sure that this has one. I, I, I didn't have enough cooked fish, basically, or I mean uh, uh, uncooked fish to make sure that stayed, but I have one stream of cooked fish and one stream of potatoes, and that will feed it all in. And so, oh, and the other thing is I tried, I tried to put, um, I grabbed one of my books that has mending and unbreaking on here. I just tried to see if the durability would change, and it doesn't seem like it. Um, I don't think so, at least. So I have a full stack here. It's waiting to deliver me more. As soon as I eat one, it will suck back that cone, deliver me a new one. All's good. And I also closed this up with, uh, you know, there's conduits here. So let's see, do I have? Yeah, I do. All right, and there, see. And I also have a timer in here. Same thing if you watch my Infinite Choices series, is that... Um, there we go. Uh, the the uh, I get some flapping back and forth as it's constantly trying to dump into my inventory, and very similar to what this tool is doing now, how it just kind of flaps back and forth uh, with the food. And so uh, so I've set this timer to run every uh, I don't know it's like 20 seconds, and, and it basically checks. Uh, that's that's all. And I've set this uh, here to run on redstone mode. So. I'll just fix that and uh, and we'll be all good. Now, what are we doing here? Well, it's time, guys. It's very, very much time. We are on the 18th episode now for us to build generators. No, it's we're on the 18th episode for us to stuff these drawers to the gill overflowing and have to add void upgrades. What am I talking about? Yes, that's right. We need a quarry. We want a quarry. We don't need a quarry. We're doing pretty good. You can see. Usually, I'm low on redstone, but definitely, uh, you know, diamonds. That's uh, that's always hurting. So I don't have a lot of diamonds and emeralds. I have a renewable way. I can do that. So that's not a problem. But there's other things like lapis, right? We blew through most of this just making that greenhouse glass. Um, there's other things in here I'm not too worried about, but eventually we're going to get into reson deep resonance and want the resonating. Or uh, the other thing, where is it? Right here. This is what I really want. I really want some more of this. 228 is not bad, uh, but I will want some more. And gold, we're actually doing pretty good, mostly with the storage drawer screw up and, uh, and me not voiding that. Just saying, hey, sorry, it's uh, I've lost other things to to Minecraft, and uh, that's that's why I'm keeping it. Sorry, tough. Okay, so what else? What else? All right, that's about it. We're going to we're going to do a quarry, but we need to power that quarry, and I could pull off base, I could pull off base power, and we have the ability to do 800 RF per tick plus whatever's coming in off the uh, the outside generation, but I don't want to do that because this is crucial for me to run my base and it's all set up and finely tuned and tweaked and refined and and I don't want to suck down my base power that's not what it's there for so we're going to create an independent coring solution and with that is which generator should we use so if we look up in here generator there are a lot of different generators so you can see there's a coal generator 
There is, of course, the oil generator, but that's not very portable. Then there is the draconic evolution generator. So that's the first two here. So we've got the coal generator and the draconic evolution generator. The next one would be the sterling generator. That's in the back row. And then we've got lots of different extra utilities. About the only one is, there's two different ones. There's the survival generator, wherever that is, uh, right there, and the furnace generator. That's in the next row. So survival and the furnace generator. And then the last one in here is the RF tools one, which is, hang on, let me find it. RF tools right there. So there's the RF tools cold generator. Now there is also the IC2 one, but it doesn't create RF. And therefore any of our coring options, hint builder, is not going to accept power from that. So the other thing is I have also upgraded where possible to the maximum capacity uh, that it will take in terms of both burn rate uh, and RF per tick. And so that means an octatic capacitor in the Sterling generator, and that means loading up the IC or the extra utilities to with these speed upgrades. You can see I made a whole bunch of them and threw a couple extra in my little uh, resonator over there because I was making this uh, red coal for the test here. Um, and, uh, and so this is about the maximum I can do. See, it says 74 is going to be used when I run this with 15 speed upgrades. So if I were to add another one, now it's 82, but I can't fly because, see, that uses 114. I don't know if you can see that. It uses 114 and I'm only generating 108. So I need to do that and then I can still fly. Now, if I'm running this over here and the generator, it will absolutely drop me out of the sky. So I'm at the maximum amount I can with this upgrade. All the other ones have no ability to do upgrades. So why am I doing this? Because I want to check out three things. First thing is, is how much RF per tick? And so that's why I've set up these capacitors here. And also for testing, I have a trash can here. And so I can if, um, suck the power back out, right? And so we empty out that capacitor. And so I can test this either multiple times or, or whatnot. This is actually a really cool. You've seen the trash can over here, right? This is for items. Well, there's also a trash can for energy. And it's very simple. It's just a redstone block in the middle of cobble and, and regular stone. So pretty, pretty cool. And with these capacitors, of course, you can just set it right next to it or you can pipe into it and, and so on. So what I want to do is I want to, what I've been doing is taking like a piece of coal and I put it in there and we look at it and we can see that this coal generator does 30 RF per tick. Let's do this guy here. This one does 168 RF per tick. Okay, so significantly better in terms of RF per tick. But the question is, is that how long does this last? See, this is almost done and this guy's got a long way to go. So now total energy so this one uses 44,856. That's how much that's in there, okay? it One piece of coal generated that much power. This one, it's at 23,000 already. So a little more than half with getting right around the halfway mark. Well, I can tell you right now that these, pretty, these two are almost identical. 44,856, this will end up at 48,000. And, I, and I've got signs here. I'll mark this so you can see visually. But what ultimately, this only produces 30 RF per tick. This produces 168 RF per, per tick and 168 RF per tick. Let me get untongue tied. And that is so much better for about the same power. Now, if we look at something like this guy here, all right, without the coal in here, I mean, sorry, without the speed upgrades, right? that does 40 RF per tick. And so it ends up at 16,000 RF per tick. You can see this is this goes across pretty quick, right? It doesn't generate a lot of power per coal. 48,000 for this one, 16,000 for this one, and then we're done. That's it, no more. So it's not a very efficient, and it only does 40 RF. Now, let's see about adding these guys. So now we are up to um, 75, grid power that we're using and the the uh, um, um, the, <laughs> the we have to use speed upgrades now we didn't quite see that I was was talking too quick but let me throw in two more and so we can see now that that goes way up to and I'll tell you right now it's 
800 RF per tick, except it still only puts out 60, 16,000 RF per tick. So, or sorry, 16,000 total RF. So let me do that once again. So I'm going to, oops, there we go, put that in there. And so it's so quick, we can't even see how it burns so quick, but it's still only 16,000. So yeah, it puts out a whole bunch of RF per tick, but it doesn't generate any, uh, you know, a, a decent amount. This one's, this one's, um, well, it's, uh, it's three times more these two are three times more output. So my concern is, is that in my quarry solutions, I like to power with coal, uh, but but um, you know that we quarry up, but it might not be able to keep up. We might not be able to generate enough power, and so on. So let me go through here. I'm going to set up the sign since I've already done most of this. Um, I'm going to set all this up, but the only other consideration, we'll we'll pick a new one here that we haven't run yet. So this guy here, something like this. This uses, it goes really slow, and it's 5 RF per tick. Now, for the for your effort, you are able to get a whopping 80,000 RF per coal block or coal, piece of coal, but it, at only 5 RF per tick, and there's no way to upgrade. Oh, you can upgrade it. Oh, ooh, let's see what that does. Yeah, we can't run it there, so let's just see. Let's just see. I didn't I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. So now we're doing 80 RF per tick. Ah, interesting. And presumably this will still be the 80,000. Yeah. That's that's going to turn out to be right at 80,000. So that's another option, right? 80,000 RF per piece of coal at 80 RF per tick. So that's not bad. Now it's not quite this. This is double the speed or the double the RF per tick at half the output. So at roughly 40, 44,800, this is at 80,000. So that's an option too, right? Right. Just like this guy over here is 80 RF per tick. Let's see, and it produces, uh, let's see, 16,000, just like this one does, but at a much higher rate. Now, um, when we do, I'm sorry, with the without the octatic capacitor, it's 16,000 at 20 RF. With the octatic capacitor, it's 80 RF per tick, but it's 85,000. So, in terms of these two, this one here, it uses it, it generates 80,000 with the upgrades and the drain on the GP. It use it makes 80 RF per tick. This one makes 80 RF per tick. This one makes 80,000 total. This one's 85,360. Uh, so this one's just a hair better, just a hair better. And lastly is the um, the RF tools cold generator. It's it's um it's not bad. It's 60 RF per tick, and it use it creates 36,000. Nowhere near the top. But the problem is is the other criteria. The third criteria is. Does it accept red coal? And remember, red coal is the eight times the amount. The burn time on here says 12,800 versus 1,600. So it's eight times the amount. We're going to take the step to set up a resonator, convert this over, and to have it generate us red coal. So ultimately, this won't even work in our environment. So all the numbers I'm putting down will be multiplied times eight. Well, with, sorry, the, the, the total capacity because we're going to be using red coal. But I want to just do a coal because it's a nice quick test. So let me let me cut right here. I'll be right back with some signs and we can take a look at this in the bigger picture. Okay, guys, we are back. And you can see now I have documented everything. So let's start right here. This one generates 30 RF per tech on coal. It produces a total of 48,000 on red coal, 384,000. This one is almost identical in how much it produces, but at 168 RF per tick. So that's the winner f so far. This one here produces a whopping 640 RF per tick, and I can go higher if I just increase my GP down there, but it only does 128,000 per red coal. Is that enough? I don't know. It's, it's one third the amount of these two, so... I, I don't know. Maybe that might be enough. I definitely am going to try to see if I can sustain a quarry off of what it's all the coal it's getting. Uh, the and and you know only 128,000 per uh, red coal. 
This one can, it's either five or if I upgrade it to 80 RF per tick. So on coal, it does 80,000 uh, RF or red coal is 640. So significantly better, but at a lower speed. Now, if we look at this one over here, the 80 RF, let me get rid of that blue lake, that 80 RF per tick, that's 682 on red coal. This one's 640. So these two are almost identical, but it requires GP. Lastly is the RF tools coal generator. It does not produce anything on red coal. So we can't increase the amount and it's measly 36,000 per coal piece. So which isn't bad, I mean, comparison, but for our purposes, we wanna, we wanna extend our, the life of our coal as much as possible. So, so there we go, that is the analysis. What am I gonna use? Well, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'll, I'll, I'll stop right here and let you see the whole thing. Let's get it all on screen. Might be a little bit tough to read, especially if you're in the sit back viewing environment, but this is everything on screen right here. And, uh, and you can kind of do an analysis. I'm thinking, me personally, is I'm thinking I'm going to try out both the Draconic Evolution and this one here, the furnace generator from Extra Utils with, this, with the upgrades in it leaving it my flight intact see i have 106.74 doesn't get any closer than that and so i'm going to try this out first and see if we can sustain it otherwise i might have to uh, switch over to something a little more efficient and slow it down so this has been a really cool analysis that i've wanted to do for quite some time to determine which one of the furnace options of course it changes for every pack but which one of the furnace options in a particular pack is the best for powering things and so this is this is pretty cool, man. <laughs> I mean, we can add in a, a a measly 640, or I mean, a whopping 640 for just a piece of red coal, which is very simple. It's effectively a piece of coal, so not too bad. Now, the other thing is we're going to have to consider is that in order for us to generate um, GP, so if I put a coal, piece of coal in here, it wants to generate a ton here. So this is that was 80 GP it wanted to use, but if not, I need 16 GP. So with those two running, I've got to have an extra 16 GP. So either I add more down there, another water, or I take enough out to drop me down to allow for that to run. So anyway, so we'll come back next episode. Um, this has been a lot of talky. Yes, I know, I realize, but I'm hoping that the more analytical of you will appreciate this analysis. And because uh, this is this is you know something that we we talk about um, often, and I don't know uh, I don't know if it's been uh, been outlined like this as as thoroughly. So hopefully you appreciated this. If not, just hang tight. Um, next episode we'll come back and we'll do some quarrying. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, talk to you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Let's see, way from the front. Yay! <laughs>